Hello guys, I am Hulir back in with another new video and to, for today's video I am really excited and as you guys know me or whoever follows me or you watch my video in on a regular basis they know I usually showcase web apps a lot like anything browser based because I don't know about what resources do you have if you have access to a laptop or not so I usually showcase web apps that because uh, that is accessible through any browser like literally you have to have the chrome or whatever browser you want to use you can just have that and you can fire that app in the, uh, in the browser so today's app uh today it, it is another web app and they are saying your browser is your new os that i also believe so let's get started with their app okay so this is never install the fastest way to run desktop app and they have created something great and i loved it okay so i will obviously talk about both of the sides of them what is great about them and what not so here you can see some of the apps that you can run on browser like run on any kind of browser that you have right now you just have to like turn uh like make an account in their platform and you can start using it so what are the pros of it i have to show you that first okay so as they can they are saying a powerful platform for accessing desktop application through the browser so say do, goodbye to laggy machine good pickup lines <laughs> pickup lines no good marketing lines tag lines good ux writing i would say so first thing first your browser is the only operating system that you need from any browser and you can install browser within a browser so you you can make the make an account in them and install another browser <laughs> so how cool that would be like it uh, feels like it would be glunky but believe me it would be cool so what are they are doing and why uh, why you should use them that's uh, that is mentioned here your apps are 10x faster than your local machine so what is they are doing basically uh obviously all of those apps gonna run on their server and they have bigger and powerful machines servers are obviously powerful than our local machine so that's why they are claiming that uh your app gonna run 10x faster than your local machine after that there is a great thing that is you can see and do things together collaboration feature anything that have collaboration feature always like uh attracts me because collaboration feature is something that we need in this situation like in this lockdown situation where everyone is working remotely so this is a like what top top notch feature uh that everyone read nowadays before this pandemic uh, we used to go to colleges schools offices so there there were not very much need of this collaboration feature that time because obviously you can uh, get into a room like get into a meeting room or anything and you can see uh, like uh, see whatever people are doing and whatever they are trying to understand and anything but in this situation now we now we can understand how much important it is to have collaboration feature in any application so that's a great thing and next obviously uh, they have basically repeated the first point here and that's it and they are saying that remotely app remote remote apps and as easy as uh, internet and website so basically yes if you are running it on a web browser you can obviously access it from any of your devices because it's a browser that's it so now what they're cutting like cutting off uh, uh they're basically cutting off the hustles of you running a web server like running a cloud in any of the host and installing your own application and uh, maintaining everything because cloud isn't uh, the best option for everyone like for newbies it's not a good option even for the professionals also who doesn't who don't know about cloud a lot 
it's it's a great mess because you have to secure your own cloud and you have to know the obviously security security things like how to prevent ddos and all how to prevent like how to uh, like what uh, prevent the firewall attack and all so yeah there are many hustles so rather they are simplifying the whole process and bringing all of them into their platform so that is great and is it free yeah, yeah like if you want to what yeah, ask if is it free is it free at all obviously it is free but there is a limitation obviously it's free plan for two virtual cpu and 4 gb ram i think that's that's plenty of space but android studio will not run in this configuration i will guarantee you so that's something to keep in mind and rather than that which i want to uh, mention that is uh, obviously they have already mentioned in, in in here that is there are currently just nine apps that are available in this platform so this is this may be this point may be disheartening for some of you but uh those apps are basically for developers like this platform is basically for developers who are like always uh, getting into stuffs and doing stuff okay so that's why i think and the app selections are so great like i think this can be good fit for web developers because as you can see uh, let me show you the app they have chrome firefox and brave basically three browsers obviously you can use those and IntelliJ, PyCharm, VS Code, Eclipse, Jupyter, Android Studio. See, all of the app related to developers or uh, any developers, Web Dev, uh, Java, like Android Studio for Android Dev, IntelliJ is also for Android Dev and Java, PyCharm is for Python, obviously, Django and all. And VS Code is OP, original gangster <laughs> for everything. <laughs> so, obviously that is something you have to keep in mind but rather than that i think it's quite good i have just logged in into their platform and their platform is too clean and like good ui interface so i liked it so that's it about this video try it out yourself let me know if you like it or not because uh, whenever to be honest uh, let me tell you a story i know video is getting a bit longer but let me tell you a story that is whenever a new semester comes uh some of like uh, some of our teachers told us to you have to download this 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 for your next semester for doing labs and uh, some of us have to uh, maybe some of us have to download the intellij for java programming and all and some of you may have to download the eclipse some of, like there are requirements so downloading them into your own pc is a big pain in the butt obviously so rather than that you can use it so your pc will be uh, clutter free pc or mac whatever you are using pc will be clutter, clutter free for that moment because if you just need it for one semester i am pretty much sure you're gonna uh, you you're not gonna use it for rest of your life so for that timing it is clever to use such platforms to uh, run those software for one semester so that's something i have came out with a uh, use case so that would be great basically that's it so if you know about some of the great apps like this please let me know all of like let me know about all of them apps resources open or open sources apis anything please let me know about all of them in the comment section uh, as well uh, so i can feature them in my future videos and if you like my videos please do subscribe to my channel please because i'm not even 100 subscribers strong yet please so yeah that's it and like and share my video to others who may get benefited by those videos so bye